Hello Commanders, Commander Plaza here, back with another Elite Dangerous video. Today I've got something special for you, and we're taking a look at an alien archaeological site. That's right, they hinted at it during the, the beta and all the publications beforehand, but finally they've been found on a rather unsuspecting planet with a small moon. Um, members from the Canon Research Group have actually located one of the archaeological sites already didn't take too long, hot on the heels with the Paladin Consortium, uh, my player group, and certainly um, the competition's high to find the next one, and we're certainly looking. Now, overall, it's a very interesting thing to look at. To me, uh, from the orbital view at least, it looks very similar in construct, and at least maybe shape, to the kind of decoded image that was found during the transmissions. So if you remember back then, I'll have it on the screen now, um, it'll show you what it actually looked like, and it was essentially a map for somewhere. And I'm wondering whether or not this could be the same kind of thing. And as you can see here, there's lots of geometric shapes, um, in particular the triangle seems to be quite prominent um, in lots of the shapes there, a kind of prismatic shape. And as you drive around um, in these in your SRV, you will notice different patterns, and there seem, does seem to be some structure. Now, my current speculation is that these are a burial mound. Uh, the reason why I think that is because looking at it, the, the way it all seems to be laid out is very kind of similar and reminiscent of burial mounds found on Earth, whether it be from Vikings or um, other, other ancient civilizations. Again, looking at from the orbit, you can see that it's got that concentric circles going on with a central hub and almost kind of like that central spine coming down. Um, as for the orientation it's meant to be, I don't really know, but there will no doubt be some significance um, for the stars they point towards or that type of thing. I, uh, Frontier are generally quite smart with that. So once I got down to planet side, um, got out, went, went for a quick fly around um, in my fighter first of all um, to get some up close kind of um, well, I guess idea of where things would be without having to take the Corvette too close to the planet's surface. It's rather difficult to handle after all. So once I've kind of started flying around, the first thing I spotted were here, and this is an ancient orb. Now there are a variety of different other artifacts which we're going to cover. Um, now I can confirm that when these are destroyed, they do not drop any fragments. Um, no, nothing like an ancient fragment like the unknown artifacts do. They don't have the same kind of um, process. Now what you can see here, um, this one is an ancient tablet, so no doubt there will be some some kind of reason for us to have these different types of artifacts um, either to sell or make a decent profit on, which one I get back to man space, certainly that will be interesting to see. And also what we've got here is an ancient totem. For them to have totems it's quite unusual because I mean if you look at the way we are now, we don't have totems. So, uh, what level was this civilization at when it was wiped out? So here uh, we have an ancient relic, and the ancient relics are found in these obelisks that rise out of the ground. Uh, when you get close enough to them, they pop straight out, and they remind me very much of Promethean technology from Mass Effect, the Mass Effect series. And if you haven't played that, I do recommend that you do because it's a good, good series of games. Now. This here is a ancient casket. Now, ancient casket, that to me again, that reinforces the the burial aspect. There are also ancient urns as well. Um, I don't have any footage of them, but here's another ancient casket from a, a different angle. But there are these different ancient artifacts placed around, and each one of them sits in these little rocky outcrops. So they are kind of a little bit difficult to get in your SRV, there's no driving straight over the top of them, and it does seem that maybe they've been unearthed by some recent tectonic activity, which, um, especially with the recent updates in Guardians, they've kind of hinted at that, so it could possibly happen. Now I'm pretty much going to shut up for the rest of it, the rest of the video, so I'm going to thank everyone for watching, please like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff, and I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of the footage. I'm Commander Plater. Signing out.